Hey, what's up, YouTube?、Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Super Riot, and on this episode, I'm gonna open some、um, uh, Mythic Crest Bag and、uh, Mesa Chest. And、uh, here it is. You can see all this.、Uh, I've obtained these for like、uh, maybe two weeks. I'm not sure, somewhere around that. But before we do that, let's go in and、uh, do some review on. Uh, the new hero siren, and you can only obtain that new hero through、uh, buying shards or purchasing gems.、Uh, let me show you this new hero right here. So,、uh, hang on, I'm gonna do a transition to、uh, one of the other accounts, and we're gonna do some review. Okay, guy.、Uh, This is the account here, Lucky Twenty Two. Actually, I shared this account with a buddy of mine, but I do not let anybody touch my YouTube、uh, main YouTube account. So、uh, we do share this account, and uh, I didn't uh, uh, roll this hero.、Uh, my buddy of mine、uh, did it with four hundred and fifty gems, which、uh, he got from just logging in and do quests and stuff like that. So、uh, yeah. Let's gonna do some.、Uh, we're gonna do some maybe、uh, raiding dungeons and the other stuff with her. And so far, I like her. So,、uh, she's pretty good actually. I think she's better than Reaper in a lot of way.、Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how she works. Okay, let's、uh, first do some raiding. Hopefully, I didn't die. Okay, they have a lad. Oh yeah, I forgot to buy some.、Uh, Magic. Can't do raid without magic. Okay. All right. I need to level up the magic too. So this account's pretty low at the moment.、Uh, Town hall level fifteen. Before we do raiding,、uh, let's let's see what her skill is. Okay, so right now she's at five of nine. She did 240% attack up to five foe in front of her, and increases the damage taken by 18% for five second. Have a five second cooldown and have a five, level five slowdown. So right now she's capable of、uh, damaging five foe, and、uh, also、uh, increase the damage、uh, they taken by 18%. So that's That's nice, especially for like Mesa,、uh, Mesa boss and stuff like that.、Um, maybe Lost Realm too. Yeah. Well, we're gonna do some Lost Realm and、uh, see how she does. And the slowdown skill is,、uh, I love the slowdown skill. You know, especially at level five. I mean, it has a chance to just slow down your opponent, increase the damage、uh, they take in because、uh, of her skill, lightning. I mean, it's just great. But her, her. Talent is uh, uh, underwhelming, so maybe we can change that. Okay, so we have four row. I'm gonna do three row. Hopefully, we get something better. Let's replace、uh, the deadly strike with the heavy blow for now. So come on, give me five five.、Uh, maybe revive. That'd be great. Oh, okay, okay, that's slightly better. Three or five is better than one or five. Heavy blow. Come on, let's get something better. No, lighten. Two out of five war god. Okay, so I think、uh, increase the attack by fifty percent. Fifteen percent is better than、uh, having like ten percent chance of doing five times damage. I mean, that's just. Okay, so yeah, two of five war god, five of nine skill. Let's go and do some raiding. Okay, so yeah, let's let's do this. Let's let her go and、uh, add it for a few seconds. Okay, now now focus on her. See that she just shoot that lightning bolt out of her bow or something. That is awesome. And、uh, she mostly target、uh, 
uh, what was that? Uh, troop first, and then heroes. That's just awesome. Okay, see see how far her proc is. I, I mean, she could do that to like across the map if there's a couple of buildings across the map or uh, troops across the map. She can she can totally do that. So I think she's a better replacement than aggressive reaper. Uh, only for like expedition or something like that, because uh, yeah, they both focus on uh, enemies' troop and then the hero. But uh, Siren has more target, so yeah, I'll be replacing her with uh, Siren. I also have a Grizzly Reaper, as you can see here. He used to be where she uh, at the base where she's at now. So uh, at four of nine, he only target three enemies. However, he's still good for like uh, expedition and stuff like that. Uh, let's go into dungeons. I mean, we're not really active on this account, so we don't do a lot of uh, dungeon and stuff like that, dungeon quests, you name it. Uh, level 118, okay. Okay, let's just drop everyone. Let's see how her range is. Okay, so since uh, she's range, her her range is pretty far. Check that out. It's like a uh, halfway across the map. She just fuck halfway across the map. That is cool. I mean, she, of course, you know, she's, <clears throat> excuse me, she's not that, like, useful as Vlad or maybe Santa, but she's great anyway. Okay, so, yeah, my druid is dead, because I'm not paying attention to anybody, which I should, because uh, they have uh, level 118 hero. Okay, let's put some... Uh, what? <laughs> you see that assassin just totally kill my hero? I mean, assassin can be a very dangerous uh, hero if you just ignore it. Assassin, ninja, I mean, you just gotta, gotta look at those. You can't just ignore them. They'll kill your hero. And let's go into like expedition and see how... Uh, she fares against a grizzly reaper. Okay, I'm going to take a, everyone that is capable of fighting. But you know, I'm not going to spend any more on this account because uh, I do need to like keep it or our uh, pumpkin duke. But unfortunately, uh, those two are like some of the hard, hardest heroes to get. I mean, some people spend like thousands of dollars and cannot like get Pumpkin Duke or Cupid. And that's ridiculous, you know. I think Pumpkin Duke should be like a shardable hero. I mean, people wouldn't mind, you know, if they pay like 40k shards for him because he's just very rare. Or Cupid. I mean, I would, I would save all those uh, shards just to obtain them, rather than just uh, roll them on gyms and uh, hoping to get them. But uh, if you have a lot of patience, you log in every day, you get all your gyms and do all your quests. Eventually, you get them, but uh, it's gonna take a lot of patience. So that's that's how she does in expedition. Okay, let's do some HBM. See my hero level. Okay, so I need to upgrade him. Don't have enough goals. Do see some HBM. E. 
eventually if she go to like uh, level 100 then uh, I'll do some HBMF but right now it's easy, like pretty easy for my team in fact it's too easy now it's like we get like a hundred percent success rate every time I should have done uh, F but just just to show you how uh, she works in HBM so you know she's good because uh, she's range so she can stand all the way on the corner just put all your range on the corner that's that's the uh, recommended strategy from anyone who played this game for a long time you know that you should put range on the outside you know on the two two outside corners so wave e3 right now I mean ever since they introduced the uh, destroyer I don't think it's a uh, game breaking or anything uh, the destroyer you can obtain them after you buy like uh, a certain amount of gems it costs a lot to uh, get them but I think Minnow still have his place in HBM because he target like tons of uh, troop, ground troop, heroes and you name it and the destroyer uh, his proc is like uh, Imhotep, you know, yeah. it's just within an area, within that very area. When he moves, his proc doesn't move with him. So within one second, when he procs, anything in that area will get affected. But then, if you're out of that area, then too bad. So anyway, you know, Imhotep is kind of like sort of better than destroyer well that's just my opinion I could be wrong because uh, Imhotep when he procs he have a couple of seconds uh, to use his power so when he move around he could damage like a whole bunch of enemies uh, the hero's trial I think the best way to do it is you lay out some traps because trap do like tr tremendous amount of damage so you, you want to put a hero's trap or bombs L4 Atlanta core? No we can't fight against Atlanta core and that thing's OP but sometimes I do win against Atlanta core it's just luck and uh, champion he can be uh, very OP Especially at a high, higher level hero's trial. I mean, when he procs, you, I mean, you're finished. If you don't kill him in time, you see that? There's Siren. So she just done like five guys and slow him down a little bit. So here it goes again. Siren for the win. Sorry for the win. Okay, so yeah. She procs on them and we won. So that is sirens. Let's do some lost realm. Okay, so uh I'll take out Grizzly Reaper. Put in siren. Save. Let's go. See how Siren does. Archbane now, he, he's a pretty good tank in this game. A lot of people use him for a lot of things. Especially if you don't have a Montanica, which is a very good uh, tank compared to Archbane because uh, he do debuff. He debuff people so. So yeah. And the Siren attack rate is not that bad. It's okay, it's average. The 
The thing I hate about Castle Clash is that you can't control your hero's proc. I mean, in some other game you can, like uh, Clash of Lords 2. I mean, there's, I just play so many Clash games and it just sometimes I get mixed up with the names. I were revealing like Clash of Lords 2 and uh, I always mention Castle Clash and the hero from Castle Clash instead of uh, Clash of Lords 2 hero. So it's kind of confusing why don't you play like a whole bunch of uh, Clash game? Just insane. But I can't admit it. IGG do make some uh, addictive games. It's just that you need to restrain yourself from spending too much money on these games. I mean, you can go overboard easily, so... I mean, it's doable in most of these games. Especially a Castle Clash is doable. You can get a pretty good lineup with, without paying a cent. Uh, you just need to make like a whole bunch of accounts and log in every day. Get your like uh, login daily reward and stuff like that. And just roll for hero and just hope for the best. And use uh, the account where you roll the most desirable hero. Use that account as your main. Don't just go spending on a whole bunch of money on one account. And most of the time you will end up uh, being disappointed, you know. You won't be able to get the, the hero you want. So I advise you just to create a whole bunch of uh, Castle Clash accounts and just uh, do log in daily, get your gyms and get your maintenance gyms and just blow on it. Uh, that's how I got Siren on this account, you know. I didn't spend a dime on her. So yeah, let's go back to my main account and uh, we're gonna do some uh, chest opening. Mystic uh, crest back and stuff like that. Okay, we're back, and now we're gonna open some some uh, chests and mystic bag. And we haven't done Mesa for Siren yet. Uh, that gonna be for another episode. Uh, maybe we're gonna do some Mesa three with Siren in it. Yes, that account can do Mesa three because uh, in our guild we have we already have two high level which is myself and my buddies just to, uh, just us we can uh, do Mesa 3 with we can just take any uh, guilty with us take any anyone that's level 120 and above so that's no problem with Mesa 3 let's see which chest box we're gonna open okay this crest box right here guarantee level 2 common crest See what we get. Okay, I like sprint, sprint or slow down. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Twelve rare crest box. Let's see what kind of crest we need. Okay, we need revive, revite. I don't, I don't care much for heavy blow. It's not much useful at low level. Okay, do we have a complete set of scatter? Okay, we have scatter. We have complete set of scatter. Berserk, yes, we do need berserk. War God, well, I can't say no to War God. I mean, I want to uh, complete my main War God crest to level 3. So, more War God crest will be awesome. So I haven't completed my life train quest yet, as you can see, and I don't mind more bulwark. So yeah, let's go. Let's go roll. Let's go open this pack. Happy blow. Okay, that's not bad. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. No. All right, we got three. No, no, no. Don't need self-destruct. Okay, scatter. Scatter is kind of useful now because you can use them in last round boss, especially with the team that, with the boss that deflect damage. You need to kind of stop his proc and drain his energy before he he 
deflect the damage. So you need a lot of scatter. So uh, use scatter crest on most of your hero. That'll be awesome. So yeah, we're gonna do this rare crest block, guaranteed level two crest, rare crest. Come on, life drain. Yes, I need a life drain. Scatter. Okay, that's not that's not bad. I, I'm gonna use scatter crest on my hero and lost realm when we're fighting against a deflection boss. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we got a complete set. Oh man, we don't have a complete setup level 2, but that's okay. Okay, Mystic ba Crest Bag. What am I getting? Can we revive, revive, Berserk? Or Life Drain? Yes, Life Drain. I think, I think now I can complete my Life Drain Crest. Level 1 Life Drain. Yup, awesome. Level 1 Life Drain. So, completed that. Revite. Berserk. Yes, Berserk. Okay, that's awesome. Life Drain again. That's not bad, I'll take that. I'll take that every day. Again, life drain, man. Today's life drain day or what? Revive, okay, that's good too. Revive, just what I need. Revive again? That's awesome. Berserk, yes. Revive, okay, let's see, let's see. Can we complete any? No, we can't. We need revive, revive one crest. So we did complete a level one revive crest. So that's awesome. Did we complete anything else? Nope, we didn't complete berserk quest. Oh man, we're so close to completing level uh, level two war god. Yep, so close. I mean, that's that's a good uh, crest back opening so far. So we have two Mesa three chests. I usually do Mesa three with my guilty, unless unless uh, one of them have a pumpkin duke, then we can do like a three man. Mesa 4. I mean Mesa 4 you really need to have like at least 3 pumpkin dupe just for insurance you know. You can have you can have 2 but uh, if one of them die then you have luck. And Mesa 4 I recommend that you gotta have at least level 130 and above because the boss can be punishing. I mean, I, I want them to get rid of this quest completion card. It's just utterly useless. It doesn't do anything. You can sell them for like honor badges, but that's about it. You can't do anything with it. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. And comments on them. And I'll have more content for you guys soon. Take care.